Hi, you're listening to Live Vegan and this is podcast number 20. This is a bit of a different podcast today. Uh, It's in two parts and it's fairly lengthy and it's uh, 98% of it's unedited. So uh, uh, there'll be a few errors, but um, I just really wanted to express my feelings about uh, what's happened today. So I was watching today the Democracy Now!'s coverage of the execution of Troy Davis. Well, some would say public lynching, legal public lynching. Actually, it wasn't public, a a legal lynching. That's what his lawyer called it. It should be public, though, in a way, except that there'd probably be a lot of people that would want to watch it just for the gratuitous violence. But somehow I sort of feel like if something so heinous is going to occur something so unjust then the public should see it and I mean unjust in not just because Troy Davis was innocent I mean unjust in in any circumstance no matter who they are and no matter what they've done everybody should have to watch that execution and it took 15 minutes for that man to die and he the execution was delayed for two hours by the Supreme Court and that poor man had to stay there wondering when when he was going to be killed and his family had to do that too. Appalling, just appalling. And earlier this morning at the same time, around the same time that Troy Davis was supposed to be uh, Initially, his planned time of murder was, sorry, 7 p.m. Georgia time. Uh, There was another man in uh, Texas who was executed, um, a Lawrence Brewer, who uh, had um, done a rather heinous, a rather grisly crime uh, involving um, an African-American man whom he, uh, they tied to the back of a a truck and dragged him down the road and there was body parts all over the road and it was really just dreadful, a dreadful crime. And the family of the uh, the man whom they murdered uh, asked that, that Mr. Brewer not be given uh, the death penalty. And that's how it should be. A- as terrible as that crime is, a dreadful, dreadful c- crime, dreadful, dreadful, uh, but as terrible as that is, Nothing excuses the cold-blooded execution of a human or non-human because uh, all this violence is related. The fact that we kill 179 million non-humans every day for our pleasure so that we can eat and uh, wear and use them, uh, that's land animals. And then every 30 seconds there's 1,140,000 sea animals are tortured and murdered for our pleasure. I mean, it's absolutely unimaginable, unimaginable violence and how that that we have in our everyday lives because we eat, wear and use all these sentient beings and torture them and murder them for our palate pleasure and for other unjustifiable uses. It is no wonder we have this kind of world It is no wonder our world is riddled with violence. Uh, It's no wonder that we have people applauding Rick Perry, the the governor of Texas, who has allowed 234, I think, executions since he's been governor. Uh, It's no wonder when when, uh, Wolf Blitzer and CNN asked him, you know, you've presided over these um, executions, and the whole audience applauded and cheered that they had uh, executed so many people in Texas. I mean, what has happened? What is happening to that country, to the U.S.? 50 years ago, this just wasn't really the sort of thing that was happening in the U.S. Not that there wasn't lots of human rights abuses happening 50 years ago, and uh, but the absolute sort of insanity that the Bible crazy, gun crazy tea partying kind of uh, this just wasn't really happening so much it wasn't happening back then so 
I don't know what has happened to the U.S. and the government uh, with its military and industrial complex. I mean, the U.S. is kind of like a symptom of a world out of control. Violence out of control, our love of and addiction to violence. <laughs> I mean, Martin Luther King was gunned down, Gandhi was gunned down, people who are calling out for nonviolence, or like Dennis Kucinich, he's ridiculed and demeaned. Anybody who's calling out for nonviolence and peace, a ridicule almost uh, anybody is either ignored and pushed to one side and, and kept out of m mainstream media or demeaned and mocked by the media or d I mean what kind of what is happening and I just see this legal lynching of Troy Davis today is just the personification the personification of all that is wrong at, at the time when he was strapped down uh, on the gurney with the cannulas in his arm he raised his head up and he looked at the family and he, he said he was sorry for their loss but he said he did not have a gun. He did not. He was not responsible for the killing. He told everybody to keep to keep struggling, and to the people that were about to kill him, he prayed for them. And the man, the man was innocent, and he was murdered. And sometimes I wonder if they just wanted to basically get it over with, you know, get get him out of the way. The thing is that they haven't got him out of the way, and they haven't got this aberration, th this will not go away. And, and I just want to bring this back to what I was saying before about violence. We have it in our everyday lives, and a lot of us aren't even aware of it. We're unconscious of it. And I'm talking about animal use. And if people think that that's not related to what happened today, then they really need to look deeply really need to look deeply at what they're doing and they really need to look at what's involved in what's on our plates what we wear and the animal use in general they need to really look at it and not just think that you know there's some so that it's a need to connect with what's going on spend a day at a, a slaughterhouse just like they should go into an e or watch an execution we're disconnected from what's going on and that needs to change. We need to get in touch with our humanity. We need to get have a revolution of the heart, as Gary Francione says, and we need to have this now because we are headlong into I an irretrievable tailspin, basically, if we do not start to get in touch with ourselves because it's everybody's responsibility. What happened today is it's everybody's responsibility and if we sit back in silence for any execution, whether it be human or non-human, and there is 179 million executions happening today of non-human animals, and there are executions of humans happening today, and there is domestic violence and rape and all kinds of violence, and there's gratuitous violence in the media, on we need to get a hold of ourselves and educate children too to get a sense of social justice again because if we survive the next hundred years which with our stupidity I'm not sure if we will if we survive the next hundred years and get a hold of ourselves and and uh, take climate change seriously and t and uh, start turning around this violence as um, Bertrand Russell said the planet will live in peace without us basically one day it'll be over for us and the planet will be in peace. And to be honest, if, if this sort of thing doesn't turn around, and I'm talking about all the violence of all kinds of animal use and this sort of violence uh, that we've seen today and general violence, if this doesn't turn around, then maybe that's a better thing for us. And I'm sorry if that sounds... I don't mean it to sound misanthropist, but uh, nothing good can come of this. We're a species out of control. We're a species that are deluded with our own importance and we need to get some justice, get some real compassion and 
but mostly get some justice and bring nonviolence into every aspect of our lives.